Many of you have wondered, called, written, even stopped us out in public to ask, what is better for our roadways, concrete or asphalt? That's right. So as we search for the worst roadways in our driving you crazy bracket, we made a pit stop to find out when and how the city decides which material is best in the coastal bend. Yeah, that's a big one. Corpus Christi's new public works director knows roadways. I've had streets in networks that I've been responsible for that were over 100 years old. You'd be hard pressed to find the life of any one roadway like that here in the coastal bend. Richard Martinez, who's worked in San Antonio and as recently as Fort Worth, is very aware of the task at hand to repair roadways in our unique climate that are driving you crazy. It is tougher. It is much tougher. For instance, picking concrete over asphalt depends entirely on the soil underneath, the amount of traffic using the roadway, and initial construction costs. Yes, concrete is more expensive, but Martinez says it has longer lasting benefits. You have to joint seal, pump jack, those kind of things to keep it in good shape. But if you do, you can have 40 to 80 year life cycles. Moisture is the enemy, which is why when the city chooses asphalt as the best option, care for the roadway will have to change from what crews have done in the past. For instance, if a roadway was reconstructed, instead of crack sealing in three years, we may go crack sealing in two years and doing a sealant, a waterproofing sealant in eight years, you do it in five years. As Martinez begins his stint with the city and previously working for city manager Peter Zanoni, he realizes his first big change to the status quo and maintenance of our streets will start with the crew out working the job. But that means we're just gonna have to tighten up our maintenance schedules. With more than 200,000 potholes repaired just last year alone, the new public works director says we can expect that number to drop this year as he improves materials and better training of crews. And that's really where uh, you get at the heart of it. It's like, you know, he, he thanked the guys that are out there working every day to, to get those potholes, uh, potholes filled. Mm -hmm. But he says a lot of it does come down to the training. He's like, we want to make sure they're doing it right so they don't have to go back and keep revisiting. Over and over exactly. again. Exactly. So we're going to find out a little bit later how much it costs to fill potholes. I know the number. <gasps> Might surprise you. And also just lay down road concrete and asphalt as we go. Also next Tuesday, Alan is going to show us what happens to your car frame. Oh. When you repetitively hit all those potholes. And when Not I good. hit a pothole, Not it good. hurts my heart. Yeah, and my soul. <laughs> it hurts my heart and my soul. Speaking of heart, 